Vasilis Yosifidis. I am a PYP teacher and uh, this is my first project um, to build my own PYP uh, hub. I come from Greece. I have a bachelor and master's in um, primary education and um, I would like to, exp to share my experiences as a primary years teacher. Um, please hit subscribe so um, you will have my news whenever I upload a new video. I'm going to be uh, discussing about various uh, topics uh, on the primary years program uh, and I would like to have feedback from you so I can create more videos and uh, add some more fruitful discussions uh, and food for thought for everyone. Um, I take this opportunity to create my own YouTube channel uh, after all this distance learning that all the teachers around the world are facing right now and I believe that this is a great opportunity for everyone to even from for those who don't feel very comfortable in front of the camera to like me uh, to have some uh, time uh, on air let's say uh, we're going to be discussing about um, the international baccalaureate so what is the international baccalaureate so it's um, a program that starts from year three uh, when a child is three years old and can extend up to uh, 19 years old. So from a year from three years old until five years old, we have the early years program, which is the EYP. From six years old to 11 years old, we have um, the PYP, which is the primary years program. And this is what I teach. It starts from year one and extends up to year five. Then in year five, this is a culmination of the PYP. That's why we have uh, the final unit, uh, which is about the PYP exhibition. We are going to be discussing about exhibition more in a separate video in the future because it has a lot of information that has to be cascaded down. Uh, and then we have five more years, which is the MYP uh, and extends up to 17 years old. And then from 17 to 18 years old, we have um, the DP. We have two classes, DP1 and DP2. Some people that prefer to choose to continue with their uh, studies in the secondary education, which is the CP, the career program, which is only for one year until the 19 years old. We will be talking about the prospects of the IB. So why IB is so, um, so special? First of all, IB is utilized by every uh, international school in the world that is authorized uh, from the IBO, the IB organization. Um, and um, it can be either, um, it can be either authorized for a section of the program. So maybe it will be PYP authorized or it will be MYP authorized and so forth or it can be a continuum. So that means that the school is authorized for all the programs in the row. And actually, there are more than 4,500 4, IB schools around the globe. Um, and more schools are coming up every month. Uh, if you check in the IBO organization site, you will check that we have more schools coming in uh, the authorized section every every month, every, yeah, like every month, mostly. The difference between the international schools and the national schools is that the international schools curriculum uh, can be applied worldwide. So that means that if a student that comes from Cambodia, if he or she goes to France, then if he joins an international school, an IB school, there will be no problem of adjusting to the new curriculum because this is what we face with the national curriculums around the world. Every national curriculum follows some structure guidelines and that have to be followed from all the students uh, horizontally without any differentiation, without any deviation, without any variation. And that is very difficult, especially when the, the curriculum is taught in the native language of the hosted country. So this you can imagine that it's so challenging 
for all those students that come from different cultural backgrounds. So for example, a child from Cambodia, when he or she goes to French, he or she has to know French because this is the, the, the medium of the school. This is very challenging. Imagine uh, a, a child that has developed all their, uh, you know, like their all linguistic needs up to, to six years old. Uh, when he or she moves to another country, he or she has to um, uh, adjust to the new language expectations, which of course is not something that cannot be done. It's not something that is, you know, like out of this world, but it is a challenge. And if you add all the workload, the academic workload, plus the social distancing that is happening between those children, you know, like those cultural differences, are not are not in the target of the curriculum of any national uh, curriculum around the world. They they don't focus explicitly on the skills that the student develop during the primary years during the elementary school. They focus more on the exams. They focus more on the progress. They focus more on the achievements, uh, tests. You name it. It's you know like it's this is how the exam system works in the national curriculums. Uh, but this is not the case for the IB, and uh, this is the huge difference um, between the IB and all the other national uh, curriculums. Um, you will find exams, but not in the primary years program. The primary years program assessment, the primary years program uh, evaluation differs so much that the assessments that we have in IB is nothing to be found in a national curriculum. Like, seriously, this is very strange for someone who comes from a national curriculum, especially for parents. Parents have to be taught, have to be educated with their children. And we are going to be discussing about this as well later on. This is an introductory video for the AB. Uh, I know that some of you or maybe many of you do not even know what this is. So that's why I will share some links below. Uh, this is the IB logo, by the way. I'm Vasilis Yosifidis. I'm a PYP traveler, and uh, this is my introductory video uh, for my new channel. I hope you like my video. I hope you subscribe and you follow my upcoming updates. This is your hub. This is your PYP hub. Um, you're always welcome. Always welcome to post questions, comments. I will be reading and responding to all of you. So have a wonderful day and see you in my next video. Bye bye.